Many remember and celebrate July 20th as the day humans first walked on the moon. But on this day, July 24th, 56 years ago, marks something just as historic. The moment Apollo 11 returned home. Apollo 11 launched on July 16th, 1969. On July 20th, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the moon, while Michael Collins waited in orbit. After exploring the surface, planting the flag, and speaking with President Nixon, they began the journey home. But coming back wasn't just an easy ride. It was a test of survival. If their re-entry angle was even slightly off, they'd either burn up or bounce off Earth's atmosphere into space to be lost forever. Leaving no room for error, they hit the atmosphere at over 24,000 miles per hour, surrounded by plasma hotter than molten metal. During re-entry, there was a radio blackout, and mission control waited in silence. With some necessary yet skilled manual maneuvering of the spacecraft came the splashdown in the middle of the vast Pacific Ocean, about 900 miles southwest of Hawaii. Even after surviving space, they faced the risk of crashing, drowning, or not being recovered in time. And once rescued, they were sealed in quarantine for 21 days under fear they may have brought deadly extraterrestrial pathogens from the moon back to Earth. Traveling to the moon and walking on its surface was an undeniable triumph for humanity. But coming back proved it could be done safely, just eight days after initial launch, paving the way for future space travel. July 24, 1969, was the final step in humanity's first journey to another world. How far would you be willing to go with the uncertainty of the journey back home? Subscribe for more, and as always, stay curious.